Hi everybody, um, I was looking into import and export and wanted to understand the global shipping market. Uh, approximately 90% of all the goods are shipped by ocean, so I wanted to start by looking at the ocean map. Here's a map uh, that I did uh, for the entire Earth. Um, so basically you can see the major shipping ports all around the world um, in every category. So basically you have the West Coast with Los Angeles, East Coast with uh, New Jersey actually in New York, um, and then you have uh, basically the Caribbean with the Panama Canal down here, uh, Brazil with uh, Santos and Sao Paulo, um, and Rio de Janeiro, and then uh, Lagos, Nigeria down here, Cape Town, Kenya, Mombasa, Egypt's Cairo port, Amsterdam's Rotterdam um, area, <clears throat> and uh, also uh, the Middle East, uh, UAE, and the oil regions. And then you see all, basically everything kind of converging right in Singapore. So it's hard to see even on this map how significant uh, the shipping is in this white zone. But this white zone is basically the most heavily trafficked zone on the planet um, for shipping. Uh, basically, it's mostly cargo and oil. Um, and I'll show you that map in just a second here. So this is the global shipping map. Um, and basically, as I zoom in here, so you can basically see, I want to try to avoid going into touching any one of these one uh, ships but the red ships um, those are the oil ships and then the green are the cargo and the pink are uh, in general uh, fishing and then the um, purple are kind of like pleasure crafts um, and then all these ports are the inland ports the gold ports you also see white ports as well as we when we zoom in here so I'm gonna zoom in here and you're gonna start to see how many ships there are um, in some of these regions there's just a huge number of boats um, so uh, and then basically as you go in here now you can start to see where all this is so basically the green is all cargo so you can see that this basically has to go through Singapore around through here and then some of it goes up through um, Japan and then over to the to the west coast into Los Angeles um, but basically this is the main routes that we wanted to look at so one question is why Singapore um, well, again, that's part of the reason, right? So you see all the shipping coming out of Asia, pr primarily Busan, uh, Shanghai, right here in the tip here, this region, and also uh, Shenzhen and uh, Hong Kong, right? So this is all these ports kind of shipping out of China. Uh, in some categories, China has 50% of the total uh, capacity of the uh, goods being shipped and sometimes even 90% or more in some categories so uh, but in the vast majority of categories there's just a lot of stuff coming out of China um, and you'll see that uh, with shipping so I'm gonna go through some of these categories so you can see China has like 65% of all the shipping for uh, textiles you can see Vietnam uh, and then pretty much all these categories are just amazing you can see here uh, this is the Harvard Atlas of Economic Complexity for Agriculture. It's a little bit different. It's going to be primarily United States and, and uh, North America. And and uh, you can see here Brazil is pretty heavy on the agriculture side. Now this is net. If you do gross, you can see we're actually doing a lot of shipping in the United States. But the net profit is actually going to countries like Brazil and Canada. So Singapore is actually doing a lot of services right now. Some of that services may be shipping uh, related, um, but you can see there's electronics, machinery, chemicals, minerals, quite a lot of different things. And then the import side is very similar, but a little bit different. Because so much of this is coming through China, I just wanted to look at China specifically. So it's a lot of electronics, a lot of machinery, and then you can see vehicles being shipped here, chemicals. Uh, metals uh, and then minerals and then even stone and then agriculture and textiles being actually quite heavy so and actually textiles are kind of really ramping up here but you can see electronics is actually heading up quite a bit with machinery being kind of the big leader here on the side of China so what does that really mean machinery that means they're doing a lot of automation for uh, factories and shipping out some of that machinery so let's look at the port of Singapore here really quick. So you can see there's actually quite an extensive, like this is a huge region. So this is many, many miles. 
uh, maybe 20 miles of coastline, uh, all dedicated. So pretty much half of Singapore is a port, right? The other half is over here. So they pretty much dedicated huge amount of land. And you can see even here, they're kind of parking the boats off the coast here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the, in the zoom tune here, but you can kind of see here what they're trying to do. So um, let me see if I can get this showing. So you can see that there's like kind of a pathway going around Singapore and then kind of a docking spot. But this really doesn't show um, what the detail that I'm looking for is. So after you start to zoom in, you'll start to see, I'm gonna try to zoom in here as quick as possible so to avoid uh, some of the delays on the video. So, so basically you can see there's a lot of tankers actually waiting right out here in this region um, and then kind of docking or even refueling other tankers. So there's kind of a debate what's been going on here um, in terms of how this all this shipping works. But the truth is that many of the larger ships can go like 10,000 miles, 10,000 nautical miles are more so there's a lot of a lot of ships that can actually go quite far uh, on one full load of tank of gas but the gas is so heavy that oftentimes they don't run full full gas on there so let's just highlight the three main regions you basically have this region all up here which basically goes into uh, mainland Asia this would be like Shanghai primarily um, and then you have basically this middle section right in here right um, with all these boats kind of basically around Singapore. I'm sorry, I probably should have drawn that around here. That looks like there's a little bit uh, better drawing like this maybe to get actually, so there's actually quite a lot. It's actually an island. Uh, and then there's the going in and out part from this side too as well. Now I just wanted to look carefully at the splash marks here so you can kind of see what's going on, right? So there's actually quite a lot of activity right along the coast here. Right, and then there's kind of like a channel in here, there's a channel in here, and there's a channel in here, and there's a channel in here, and then there's another big huge splash mark over here where a lot of things go different directions, and then another mark in here, right? So there's basically some definitely different directions that this all goes to. You can kind of see here how this all comes together right down here through Singapore, right? And then there's two channels, and each one of these are going vessel paths. Perhaps one of the best uh, maps to see the ocean floor as well as depths uh, for <laughs> tides and all that is this Navionics uh, chart. Uh, and I'll zoom in here to show you Singapore. Um, they have it uh, freely available on the internet if you want to take a look at it uh, quickly. So you can see this is the channel marker. So this is the channel where the shipping goes. And you can see on the right, it's basically going this way and this is going out. So you'll see that on the charts here as well. Um, you can see there's kind of two pathways here, right? It doesn't really show it there, but let me see the zoom out. So this would be going this way, right? And you can see the boats are all going this way on this chart. So that, that happens throughout this whole pathway all the way along here. You can see this is kind of going this way. All these boats are going this way in here, and this is going that way. So that's basically the pathway. Um, and that's basically because uh, a lot of the ship is actually, a lot of the ships are actually coming from China with heavy cargo. Um, you know, a lot of the cargo ships are coming on the coastline here. And that's pretty much why the reason that's been that way for that historically. So again, it's a really amazing port of Singapore and you can see all the beauty of the whole Singapore coastline uh, on Google uh, the, the views here so it's pretty cool to just see the whole coastline and the whole island is just a huge island uh, with Malaysia in the background there I'll probably go into more detail and look at some of these inland areas so basically the specific details of how you dock into the ports here what that all involves and what all each one of these regions are Thanks so much. Let me know what you think about import and export. Singapore is perhaps one of the best places in the world uh, to look at import and export. And as you can see, there's just a huge amount of information all based on Singapore right in here. So and a lot of the top companies, uh, even technology companies, are all based in this area. Um, so there's a lot of things going on in Singapore. I hope you really enjoyed this study. Thank you so much.